Yes. Now it is time for some design life hacks with Hamish. Firstly, though, what would you do with that extra cash, Hamish? What extra cash? You'd buy a nice throw or something, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, you know, um, a throw. I was going to say <laughs> a throw or some pillows. <laughs> S sadly, see, I probably wouldn't because um, I actually own a lot of throws <laughs> and a lot of cushions and stuff. I'd probably, um, I'd probably get myself some music on my phone. OK, fair enough. Nice. Uh, we're in the bedroom ready for a makeover. Uh. What do we do? Where do we start? OK, well, I think the key to remember is the bedroom is the one room in the house that you can actually decorate for yourself. You're not doing it for Auntie Martha who's coming to visit. Uh, it doesn't have to be neutral and worry about that sort of stuff. You can have a bit of fun. That's where I'd kind of start off. So think about what you want the room to feel like. Um, I like things that are darker and a bit more snug because to me the bedroom's a retreat. Mm -hmm. uh, some people like it light and airy. OK, how do you get the balance with a bed between uh, it looking good and yeah. it feeling good? <laughs> <laughs> well, OK, here's the thing. Uh, many a time I'll go in there and I'll see that someone's got a bed, they've maybe moved house or something, or if you're terribly unlucky, you've been handed down a bed. Uh, and it's a king-size bed and a standard-size bedroom, which really should have a queen. You want to size the bed correctly to the okay. room. Uh, it, it's important because it's the overall feel of the room. Right. Okay. Yeah. If you've got a big space, by all means, have a large bed. So just make sure you've got the room to accommodate the size bed you want, really. Well, yeah, you might need Super to move King, to pull it off. All the way. <laughs> yeah, e exactly. I mean, there are certain things you might want to have in a bedroom. If the bedroom is slightly smaller, of course, you probably want to look at um, having a bed that's not like a sleigh bed. You know the big beds that have yeah. the big heavy ends on it? They're beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful, but they take up space. If you don't have as much room, you could maybe just sit with the bed base and a fixed headboard. OK, so you can't put a king-size bed in a tiny room. Well, bed. people do it, but there's nothing worse. Have you ever walked into a room and seen a darker double or a queen bed pushed up against the wall? Yeah. Wow. No, please don't do that. Why not? Ooh. But then, you know, you've got a king-size bed. Well, someone's always going to have to roll <laughs> over somebody to get out, and that's I, not cool. I guess the key to it here is, uh, do we want it to be um, just about lying in the bed, or do you want it to actually function as a space? As a room. No, you right, want it okay, to be, cool. but what about the bed, I say? No, you don't. Um, so what about if you've got your bed and it's perfect for your room, what yep. about your buying tips for the stuff that goes on the bed. Oh, Duvets stuff. Now, this is, this is the way Okay. Pillows. Okay, uh, first thing, uh, buy one size over. You buy a queen size bed, buy a king size duvet. Reason for that is that it hangs down properly and covers the bed more evenly and easily. Same with your top sheets, they always go in properly. Uh, beds these days tend to have a higher top part of the mattress. You need to make sure when you buy your fitted sheet that you buy one that's the correct depth. They come okay. in varying depths, okay? Duvet. So that's why if you've tried to stretch one on and it kind of really do doesn't go properly, you've just bought the wrong one. Who Here's knew? my hack. Mm. I don't really like using hack in my name in the same word, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> if you are going to stretch it on, you have trouble. People have trouble with fitted sheets. Start one corner and go to the diagonal opposite corner oh, okay. and then put the other two on. Works much more easily, okay? Now, when we come to cushions on the bed, men out there hate cushions. Yes. Yes. Wrong. Okay, the answer is I would not have more than seven things on the bed. No, no, no. Calm <laughs> down. Calm down. Let me explain. You can have the two pillows you sleep on. Yes. You can have the two dress pillows that go on top. We're at four. Oh, yeah. And then you can have two cushions with one in the front, giving you a total What's of seven. What's the point of them, though? Why do you have cushions on a bed? I do not understand it. <laughs> For aesthetics. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I am horrified with my camera. That one, that Mel said that. I expected that from Mike. Yeah, Mel, <laughs> we'll have a little chat later on. A tough job today. Mike's probably like, yeah, I've got cushions. Okay, uh, but can I ask you a question? I go to a hotel and I look at their bed oh, and I think, oh, it's beautiful. Yes. And I go home and I think I'm going to make mine to look like the same. No matter what I buy, what I do, I can never get it right. Okay, so uh, we all have the filthy yucky pillow that we prefer to sleep with. Yeah. That's normally some manky um, thing that's filled with feathers that <laughs> Dribble. should have been got rid of <laughs> 10 years ago. Well, they go on the underneath. <laughs> okay. And then I typically would say, actually, I would go to Briscoe's. That's where I buy my pillows from. And I would buy a more cost-effective sort of... Uh, like a Dacron-y kind of filled one that's going to sit nice and tight in the pillow slip, so you pop them on top, that makes it look nice and crisp. Um, if you have manky underneath pillows, you get more horizontal cushion, cushions because they cover the sides and then the main one goes in the middle for dressing it. Basically, I'm telling you to hide the yucky, ugly could you, pillow. Could you, could you use them as a headboard sort of thing? Like? Ah, yes. Well done, Mel. Nice tip. Should you not have enough funds to perhaps purchase a large headboard, what you can do is order two Euro pillows. Cost-effective way. They go up first, and then your normal pillows get stacked in front. Do you staple them, or do you just leave them lying? You don't, you don't staple them to oh, the floor. Oh, no. No, no. There'll be no, no, there's no stapling. Um, they, just, they just rest nicely. Uh, they rest nicely, forming the, forming the look of the headboard that you might... Okay.
Oh, at least you're here today. We're learning a lot, Hamish. Yes. No, this is good. Okay, so what about making your bedding last? Because you've bought your 17 right, throws and your 20 right, cushions. Right, yeah. Okay, so, so here's um, a personal pet hate. Yes. Uh, people who wash their uh, duvet covers continually. Uh, duvet cover is not designed to be washed continually. Oh. Uh, so what you do is you actually prepare your bed for going to sleep. That's called folding the sheet over the top of the duvet. You know how we fold the sheet back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, you fold that back over the duvet. That way the top of the duvet is not actually in contact with your body. And I'm going to go one step further here. If you're one of those naughty people, yes, I'm talking to you, that does not have a top sheet and just sleeps under their duvet, oh, yeah. make a change for good, yes. spring $50 by a sheet. Okay, I was yeah. about to say that you obviously yeah, don't have teenage like that. boys. Oh, you're getting a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you yes. have teenage boys in this house, though, because you have to... Oh, no, teenage, teenage boys, yeah, you're fighting a losing battle. Um, so very, 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 very quickly, yes. top three tips of the things that you should have in your bedroom. Top three things. Uh, decent side lights, because you want to set ambience when you walk into the room. Uh, a nice throw that you can have easily folded onto the end of the bed that you can pull up should you get cold. Mm -hmm. um, um, the whole look of just throwing it on the end of the bed, well, that's just messy. Don't roll with that trend. I bucket. Fold it across the end. And last but not least, have fun with your bedroom because it is just built for you. Excellent And stuff. hopefully somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> well, we live in hope. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was excellent. Loved it.